Well, uh, welcome students to my lecture number 36 where I want to um, tell you about design of a manually operated weighing equipment. Well, I, uh, it's a very um, fascinating uh, thing which I want to tell you today because uh, uh, you might have seen several types of such devices, but uh, there is nowhere a uh, proper way of designing this equipment. We discussed about uh, the tines you have seen the disc um, in the earlier uh, lecture. And uh, if you want to design it uh, a full uh, device which is manually operated, uh, but then it has certain, certain uh, components, how do we design, what are the parameters we think of, what uh, considerations we have to give because it is a manual device. Now, this de the de device, in fact, you know that manually we require a lot of uh, manpower only for pulling uh, individual by hand. But then the moment uh, same power of the man can be utilized using these small devices and the output can be increased. So, and the, but, uh, these devices are very useful for uh, lowland as well as upland conditions, dryland conditions what we call as upland and uh, for small farms. And you know that about 60 percent of the farms particularly in this country in India are small farms. So, for this operation uh, which is a arduous operation and I have told you that these are mainly uh, done by the ladies. So, in order to uh, bring out the uh, maximum out of the same power of the um, person, we, we should have a proper design. What should be uh, the, uh, what should be the consideration in the design of such a device? So, that is why I have uh, um, brought today to let you know about how do we design such a weeding equipment, which is manually operated mind you. Um, you can think of this when you go for a mechanic, mechanical operated or bigger equipment, but then when you go for a small one, how do we do? You might have seen what are the devices in the, uh, which I showed you in my previous uh, other lectures about uh, the small weeding devices Khurpi, Asya and then uh, um, Kudali and things like that which was um, shown there, spade etcetera. But then apart from um, that, if a proper design procedure has to be followed, what should be that? So, um, I have come with that to show you and share with um, you my um, way of uh, understanding the design and um, let us see how do you f uh, appreciate this. Four cents, okay. Now, well, first of all, we should go back to the um, weeding time. See what should be the time, what should be the design of this particular time. Now, we have taken a sweep type of time in this uh, case for uh, showing you the analysis uh, and how as an engineer you would appreciate such a analysis. Now, you see here that uh, we, we, this is a sweep um, a type of uh, um, uh, time which we have um, attached here. And this time, what are the um, forces uh, acting on this? How do we measure these forces? See, uh, the if you consider this part, this particular diagram, you can see here, then uh, what you get here is phi. Now, this phi is the sweep angle. This phi is the sweep angle which is there. Now, this angle is generally between 12 to 20 degrees. Now, uh, there are certain things which we need to um, uh, take it for granted for that matter if you tell because it is not possible to go into each and every aspect of the design for this. But there are certain aspects when we consider a particular component from known literature, we, we should uh, instead of uh, redefining and redesigning the wheel, we must gather information which is available at elsewhere and can be used for our uh, requirement. So, here this phi is a sweep angle. So, this sweeping now the root, the root is cut through. What, what is the root? Root we are talking root of the weeds. Now, this when we try to cut the weeds, we cut about uh, 2 to 3 centimeters only of that. We are not interested in going for about uh, 6 inches or so because these are tender roots. They are generally coming up, these weeds coming up after uh, 21 days after sowing. We call it 21 days after sowing, DAS, uh, days after sowing. So, in 21 days of sowing, these weeds are very tender and then it will be, they are hardly uh, 2 to 2.5 uh, 
uh, to 3 centimeters just below the soil and the soil is also not that very hard it is just below. So, it is easier to remove them from there either we cut them or remove them. So, when we damage them they, they are either with the sun they dry and then they are controlled they do not grow further. So, we can see the various uh, let us see what are the various um, angles etcetera when we consider such a strain. We can see the root is cut through and the tangential force F t. Now, this, uh, this is the tangential force F t over here you can see this is the force tangential force F t which is in this direction here. Now, this force becomes higher than the frictional force F f. So, this is the frictional force which is in this direction. So, the, the moment this is more than this it will cut. So, this is one consideration fine. Then f how is f um, uh, from this friction force given p cos alpha. Now, what is this p cos alpha this is, this is here in fact, this is um, uh, um, uh, capital one. So, this is the angle alpha which is maintained and this angle alpha is the apex angle this is also apex angle at this point of this. So, you are talking of the apex angles which is 30 to 45 degrees. So, p cos alpha uh, is this that means, p cos alpha will be working in this direction. So, p cos alpha is the frictional force which is acting here then the F t which is the uh, frictional force no sorry which is the tangential force. Now, this tangential force is F n tan psi. Now, you can see this is F n here, this is the F n here through this, this is F n here and this is at an angle psi or uh, in fact, this is also an angle phi a similar angle which we will get here. So, at this angle then we this tangential force F t normal load F n and relief angle uh, psi you can say. So, the frictional force then the sharpness angle 12 to 15 degree you can see that here details of these are uh, given here sharpness angle psi the relief angle uh, as well as uh, this uh, cutting angle 18 to 30 degree. So, these details are given through this you can see a portion of this has been given and explained. Now, we are talking of virtually f n tan psi uh, less than p cos alpha. So, therefore, the angle of setting of the blade should be this this is what we say that the apex angle uh, or the angle at which the setting should be done is pi by 2 minus psi. So, uh, this talks of what should be the angle which is given over here. Now, this from the literature we have collected just to, uh, to show it to you that how do we appreciate the um, different angles which are there while it is cutting the roots of the uh, of the weeds. Now, there are certain other considerations see this one thing is see we are talking of uh, the talking of the time we had talked of this time. In fact, this should be uh, here and then we should be talking of the handles. Okay. So, something like this the, the way it is shown over here you see. So, this is the time we have talked of what else. Now, there are two other things one is this wheel. Now, you can have single wheel you can have double wheel depending upon what you say, but the purpose of this wheel is to, to give forward motion and also to maintain the depth of operation. Because if this is not there you can imagine that we will you will have simply a device like this and there will be a time. So, if you push this here if you push in this direction then you will find that this a uh, particular device will keep on going uh, further and further and then it will not be within the capacity of the human being to do this thing. Therefore, we this particular the wheel which is there in the front now this wheel actually with the uh, momentum that we are getting with the wheel it will maintain the depth as well as it will help us in going because these devices are push pull type remember I had told you in my previous lecture that these are push pull type weeders we are pushing certain distance and then pulling back certain distance. I had also shown you the mechanics of how push pull force comes and then how do we measure those forces and actually find out the power required for that. Now, when we have this device like this and we have talked of the tines. So, we depending upon the design we you can think of what should be the material of construction, what should be the width of cut, 
that width of cut will depend on uh, what is the spacing because you cannot take uh, spacing exactly uh, the uh, equal to the spacing of the crop. You have to um, leave certain amount on both sides um, near the root of the uh, two plants and the two rows when you are considering. If you are considering say two rows like this, there is a plant over here is the top view. So, we need to consider uh, say the distances here, this is the effective distance which it should. Uh, um, otherwise, it will also um, go near this and try to cut. So, um, this push and pull pushed uh, here and then pulled certain distance. We had talked of this. So, push and pull type such devices. Now, question is the human being is uh, um, uh, using this device. So, you can see that the human beings um, are of different sizes and um, uh, strength parameters hands etcetera are of capacity uh, of application of force several of the things are varying from man to man from women and all that. And in fact, uh, uh, from a small uh, women to a large uh, male you, if you find that there is a large variation and this variation uh, um, known as the anthropometry because about the body dimensions and the strength parameters. So, ergonomics uh, I have just introduced here because this itself is a science which uh, talks of uh, the application of the uh, application of the capability of the man, application of the capability of the man with the engineering knowledge that he has. So, that he designs machines, equipment and uh, processes which are comfortable to operate and uh, which are giving maximum output and safe to operate, comfortable or safe to operate and gives maximum output. So, this science is talking about the ergonomics that the ergo means work, nomos means law. So, there should be a certain law followed for doing this particular work or any work for that matter and that work because the human being is involved it must be uh, such that it is comfortable, safe and he should be able to work for a longer duration of time without uh, harming his body or harming uh, his own uh, physique. So, that is why ergonomic considerations are very important so far as the design of the handle is concerned because the handle height, this handle height will vary from human to person to person. Now, because he does not have to hold it here, he has to hold at a certain location. So, the moment he, you need to have the different dimensions. So, there has to be in this one, there has to be some device by which and there is in fact. Uh, there are locations here by which you can adjust the uh, the uh, the position of this. So the this is important so that when the person is walking, he should not his leg should be in such a position that he should not come and hit this uh, blade. So this is very important. So the weeding tool should be such that the operator does not have to exert more than sixty newtons uh, push or uh, pull. In fact, uh, pulling uh, he will not require men of force because then he has to only pull the weight of this uh, weight of the uh, equipment, but pushing he has to exert force uh, because it has to cut the soil and cut the weeds. But then from literature we have found out that it should not be more than 6 kg or so because this, this has to be operated for a longer duration of time. And we need to also work out because when you have these designs you need to work out what should the work rest cycles, how long the person should be able to operate that and when should we take rest. So, that uh, the output is also more and uh, the, uh, the person is also comfortable, he is safe. Well, uh, static loading, unavoid static effort should not be more than 50 percent of maximum. See static loading on the muscles, definitely because when the person is holding them and tries to operate the mu these muscles actually come into picture. And uh, this loading should not be uh, from literature we have found out that this should not be 37.5 newtons, see less than that. So, it should not be more than that. So, these are the values which has been uh, which has been which have been found. Now, the frequency of operation now this of course, depends from person to person and uh, his ability depending upon the ability of the person who is operating the device. So, about 30 to 50 strokes per minute have been found to be most optimum uh, when he is uh, doing this job, uh, which will also give you enough uh, rest and work output. Uh, the length of the stroke 
is about 300 to 500 mm which we have seen uh, because uh, in my equation which I showed you the mechanics while uh, showing the mechanics of push and pull I had indicated that uh, the length of the stroke should be 300 to 500 mm. Now, handle height well this is the one which is uh, dependent on this ergonomics then the handle height should be this this is very important so it says 0 0.7 times the shoulder height. Now, this will vary from here to here depending upon the height of the person height is we call in ergonomics we call the stature of the person the total height of the person from the foot to the top here what is the total height and then this h 0.7 times of the shoulder height now this is the total height now shoulder height. So, 0 0.7 times of the shoulder height depending upon the height of the person is the one where the handle height should be there and accordingly therefore, then you have to design here what should be the uh, distances what should be the places where it should be uh, bolted. So, that you get uh, this particular one comfortable for a shorter person also for a longer person this we have done lot of studies you will find particularly this is a new science and uh, it has been used for uh, many things in your daily life you might have seen if I give an example that right from the um, toothbrush which you uh, use in the morning um, to the bed etcetera and the cycle now you can see everything has been thought of keeping in view the requirement the capabilities and the liking and the um, feeling of the uh, human being that is why those um, things have been designed this is another science. Now, we have utilized that science into design of the handle of this. So, that is one which has to be taken into consideration when you are designing. So, what the element is the cutting element next is this and the wheel which I said that wheel has to be um, enough uh, diameter of the wheel. If you have a very big diameter of the wheel then also it will not help uh, because then this will be the height of this will be higher. Well, the um, handle length uh, but these are certain things which have been uh, in fact handle um, length uh, sorry see the handle length uh, um, i h is this handle length what should be the handle length. Now, this will again depend on what is the height that you want to maintain if you are maintaining a height between 800 here uh, to 1000 uh, depending on this and uh, this distance. So, the beginning of this you need to know what is this i g what it is this i h these are see i g is the handle cross bar length this is this one uh, it depends on the elbow to elbow breadth yes this is there because how much is the distance between these two it will depend then handle um, length well length of the handle will depend uh, what is the geometry of the tool and how much height we want to measure. Now, what should be the grip here in fact the handle grip see the handle grip here this is this is the grip. So, this grip is also important because the grip of uh, the person a smaller person and a taller person will vary. So, the grip has to be such that he is in a position to grip it properly and it should not be rough also because otherwise he will have problems here. So, it should be smooth and he should be able to um, uh, hold it properly a, a larger person will have a bigger uh, grip and for a smaller person a smaller grip. So, this also is very important and that is why we are saying that you can see the handle grip vary from 25 to 37.5 millimeter. Now, these are data from the anthropometric uh, analysis which we have done for uh, the um, whole country um, and in fact, these are worldwide data available and for India we have developed at IIT Kharagpur and from there I am in a position to give you that this handle grip um, is this to this vari variation which in fact, depending upon uh, the height of the person can be utilized. The handle material well the material of the handle simple is very simple handle of material will depend on what you want it should be a lighter one. So, um, a lighter mild seed pipes are enough or you can have wood if you are thinking to have a device which will be easier fine you can have use or strong bamboo sheet uh, um, uh, uh, um, uh, you can say that uh, bamboo rods uh, you can say uh, or wood whatever, but I would say that uh, if you put wood and all that maybe the, um, uh, the cost will be higher than having a simple pipe 
which is uh, worth enough a mild steel pipe will do the job. The cost of operation. Now, we need to also think about this part. See, I had just talked uh, earlier that uh, these are designed within the capacity and capability of the man uh, or the human being. So, when we are talking of the amount of work done, definitely a person when he starts muscles starts working, then he will um, uh, start getting uh, fatigue after some time. So, we need to have a control on this and that is why this talk physiological cost of operation. What is the physiological cost of operation? That means, how much this heartbeat and then we do measure all these things over a period of time and that is why a, cause, a rest and work cycle has to be created. So, a rest and work um, cycle has to be created for operation of such devices, then only you can get uh, an output and enough. Uh, load or uh, you can say that enough uh, good design and work output. Well, power doubled by the operator. Well, this is one thing which uh, we, which uh, we have done at IIT Kharagpur and in fact, uh, for this I will not tell you what are the instrumentation we required, but then uh, very nutshell in nutshell I would like to explain that uh, how did we measure the power of the person. As such, uh, the maximum power that a person can develop uh, is very high. Uh, it has been found to be about 5 horsepower or so. And what is that 5 horsepower? In fact, you might have seen that the weight lifters. So, when they lift the weight of say 200, 250 kg suddenly up to a distance of that. So, in that short duration of time that uh, weight is lifted, so mgh and from there you can convert and say that maximum of 5 horsepower or so they can develop. But that those power are very instant, uh, instantaneous powers or instant powers. We cannot use them, but what we want is the power which uh, can be utilized over a period of time without hurting the uh, uh, physique of the person, health of the person and uh, maintaining every safety of that person in the device or in the task which has been given to him. So, here I just want to Ergonomical requirement of power doubled by the man is 0 0.1 a, um, HP that is what we take uh, is this one tenth of a hertz power that we take. And uh, so, unit draft of soil if the unit draft of soil is 0 0.2 kg depending upon the uh, type of soil that we are using. See this is uh, this will vary generally a, a soil where you are talking of uh, first opening the soil, but this is a condition where the soil is rather very um, softer not uh, very moist as such, but softer mm, and uh, it is easier to move through this. That is why the unit draft considered here, uh, a consideration has to be given on this value, whether you want to give 0.2 or, or 0.4. Say maybe for a particular soil here we take 0.4, but here we have taken 0.2 because that much of force is not required at that condition of some cutting of the weeds. Now, depth of operation yes slightly higher we are uh, considering, but then even depth of operation is uh, up to 5 centimeters maybe 2 inches, which is not so the case, but then up, even if it is um, 5 centimeters the operation is about 1 kilometer per hour or 1 to 1.5 kilometer per hour. So, the total power developed total draft into speed this comes to be this is the uh, D which comes as 27.37 kg this is the total draft that we uh, get here power doubled by the so, so much of uh, is the draft which we can uh, think of out of the human being over here. Well, when we are, ta we are talking of the designs uh, of the tines, how do the tines work in, in, the, um, in the soil and what is the zone of uh, working? So, this has already been shown to you if you recall uh, I had uh, dealt with this uh, treatment of the uh, tines uh, working and the um, width of operation as well as the uh, uh, spacing between these. these. Uh, if you recall I had talked of, but then it is quite uh, relative and relevance here that is why I have brought it back here to, uh, to, un to tell you that what considerations we do give, because the zone of working is very important. Why you get uh, two times, why we have three times in that 
any particular width, uh, row to row spacing of the crop. That is the one where this will uh, be utilized for how many uh, types you want to have. This is one where it is uh, right, and therefore uh, the width of this, therefore the width of this is say mm, width of w here. Then this is the width 110. Now spacing between the tines. Well, we have talked of these spacings, and then this is the value which is shown over here. This is the value. So the spacing is this. Now therefore T0 is about 120 millimeter. Dropped on one tine. We had talked of the value of dropped which we got there. So unit dropped into cross sectional area of the furrow. So cross sectional area of the furrow, width of the furrow into depth of furrow by two here. The cross sectional area of the flow actually this value and actually dropped on one time is something like this. This is the value. Now, uh, well, we can say that uh, the force in, uh, that was talked of should not be more than 60 uh, Newton or 6 kg. So, here you can see that more or less we are in a position to show that the uh, requirement of this time also is within this range. Of course, then therefore, of course, we have thought that the width uh, depth operation is about uh, 5 centimeters or so, but then this is not that much. But even then, if you take that to be on the higher side, well, we th this is well within our requirement or well within the capability of the person. And of course, this will vary from person to person. If the uh, stronger person is there, he may do it more and the output will be more as compared to another person. Actual draft then uh, what is the actual draft then? The factor of safety, you need to attain a factor, a factor of safety uh, always when you have the design here. So, the factor using factor of safety, then you are getting here that this value is about 8.25 kg. So, well, uh, the value is swelling a bit, but then uh, you have to control with the number of tines, uh, number of tines and the uh, design of uh, the tines. And, uh, spacing etcetera and uh, you have to see whether uh, which crop you have taken. These are some of the things which need to be thought of and we found that the number of times there are three times which can be utilized because this is the, um, the draft that you got and this is the draft for a unit. So, therefore, it is well within and you can go up to a maximum of three uh, times. Now, you can go up to three times this is what uh, theoretically we have got, but depending on the spacing you can uh, think of uh, whether you have 2 or 3 or you have um, 2 in the front and 3 back depending upon what uh, you are uh, how much is the width etcetera of the time. And so, what what details are there? How do we go it um, about the uh, strength of those? We have to follow the similar machine design uh, values, machine design theory and from there you can know that the moment on the time is required, what is the bending moment on the time. So, we can find out that this bonding moment is finding uh, uh, appears to be about 124 kg centimeter for a given value, for a given value or given size of the time that we have considered in this case. So, similarly bending stress you will be in a position to get uh, the bending stress in here, the bending stress is known and then this uh, bending is torsional stress you can uh, sorry bending stress is here. Now, the ratio between how do we get once we get this because we are not getting torsional here we are talking of only the bending part. So, what we do here is T is to be um, width which we had discussed earlier a similar thing can be taken about 1 is to 4 and then you are getting T the thickness of this uh, um, uh, time and the width of this time here. So, thickness is this and the width is about approximately this. Now, although we have got 3.5 millimeter, but then you have to choose this what is available in the market, what is the size of the material which is available for making it to um, this uh, type of uh, time which you have. Okay? And then of course, these are ones which come from the uh, machine design formulae which, uh, which have been utilized here. You can see this is the one which is here. So, these are the uh, designs which have I have already discussed, but then they are relevant here because although it is a very small equipment, but kindly appreciate that what sort of uh, uh, 
you can see assumptions and considerations are required for giving a proper shape of a design for a uh, weeding tool, particularly a manual drawn push pull type of weeding tool. Design of the handle, well we have talked of the design of the handle uh, earlier already and I have talked of the what should be the material. Material I have said that well material and the length etcetera depending upon the angle that you are trying to maintain actually uh, this should be not here this should be like this and then it goes like this here. So, depending upon uh, the the this angle which we are trying to maintain this angle the length etcetera this length as well as the height here and the um, distance from uh, this point. So, these are to be considered uh, as I have said earlier and it has to be at the um, uh, the holding etcetera everything has to be considered. We have discussed this and a, a representative value comes 1482 uh, millimeter. So, this can be developed I have discussed in detail about this part. So, actually then if I say that how, uh, how you have finally designed we can say that what we have got a uh, weeding device, weeding device which can operate maximum 5 centimeter depth, speed operation could be 1 kilometer per hour and the drop on one time will be this, width of row is taken to be this much and then spacing between uh, the tines is 120, thickness of the tine is this, then the, the width of the tine is this much and the incl of inclination of the handle uh, is between 30 to 45 degree and the length of this. A representative design uh, has been shown from mechanical as well as ergonomic points of view for a manually operated uh, wheel hoe, which is a push pull type of a weeder. Now, you can show here this is the design which we have given as a representative one. You can use this concept and the consideration and the procedure. What is important here I want to emphasize is that the procedure that we have followed for each and every component uh, for giving a good design which can be done for if you want a um, uh, mechanical device if you want to have a power source then accordingly but these considerations will be definitely there and uh, power may be utilized for only moving or power may be applied for uh, rotation of the device etc. Many uh, um, derivations or many uh, um, you can say that uh, uh, many models could be created uh, using this. I think uh, I have discussed at length and your questions will be most welcome as in when required. Thank you.